Okay, we're gonna look at um, the experimental probability with a six-sided die. Uh, that really means a, a dice, it just means it's the singular. Dice is plural for two, a die is, is one. So we have one die and there are six sides to it. If you're familiar with that, um, I'll try to give you a, a die or a dice, one dice or a die, is a cube which actually has six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here we go. And in each side, there's usually a dot representing a value. That represents one, two, just in case you're not familiar with it. This is the, I guess you would call it the common die. That's five and three. These are your options on a six sided die. You roll one of those. Um, so, I'm going to go back to that lovely little website, uh, random.org, and if you take a look here, this is a randomized dice roller. I'm going to roll a dice 15 times, or 15 dice. A die 15 times, or 15 dice. I'm going to get my grammar right there. Uh, so let's run the experiment. Whew, here we go. Okay, so let's, again, we're going to take like a frequency here. We're going to try to figure out um, what we have here. So our options, like we said, were one, two, three, four, five, and six. Well, let's see what we got here. For six, we have one, two, three, four. So we had one, two, three, four sixes. Uh, for fours, we had one, looks like. We had a four. We had one, one, two, three, four ones. One, two, three, four. We had one, two, three. Four, four twos, one, two, three, four. I think we're going to be running short on other things. We had a three, and we had a five. Okay, so here's our experimental probability. I'm going to quickly take a snapshot of that for our. Uh, come back to that. Oh, sorry, I hit the wrong button. That's what happened. Go, come on over. Here we go. Here's our snapshot tally. Great, should show up over here. Wonderful. Um, so let's take a look at that. Um, we had a one, a two, four, ooh, let me say this again. Four ones, four twos, four sixes, and then ones of the rest. So we're gonna try to build a bar chart once again here. Um, our bar chart here is gonna have our six die options on the bottom here. We'll run this experiment maybe twice, okay? And we'll represent two, four, six, eight, 10, okay, and you could have gotten a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, or a 6. Like we said, we had 4, what color are we using? Green, right? Okay. So we had 4 1s, we had 4 6s, I believe. What was our other thing we had? And 4 2s. And so those are all relatively uniform, except that we had 1 3, 1 4, and one five, okay? So let's say we're trying to find the experimental probability of all of these. Well, uh, experimental probability, um, the probability of the experiment is our formula, which is equal to the number of positive outcomes, and we define what a positive outcome is. With outcomes over the number of trials. So in our case here, a positive outcome in the very first one, a probability of getting a 1, I'm going to call it. Well, there were four 1s, and how many trials did we have? Well, remember I rolled either 15 dice once, or I rolled a die 15 times. So the number of trials was 15. And we can calculate that probability for every single one. Another way to figure out the number of trials is to add up all of your values in your bar chart. So 4 plus 4 plus 4 is 12 plus another three, three ones, it was 15, so that looks up very nicely. Uh, probability of a two was the same, four in 15. Probability of a three was one in 15. And the probability of a four was one in 15. Probability of a five was one in 15. And the probability of a six was four in 15 again. And we can divide those to figure out what they are as um, percentages. Okay, we can, It's actually really quick because there's really only two numbers here. So let's actually go about doing that. Uh, 4 divided by 15. 
great, that was easy. Uh, 26, 26 repeated. So for anything that was four out of 15, there was a 26.6% .6 chance that you would get that. And for one in 15, well, it did it again. Didn't mean to do that, but it did. Can I clear this? Getting a warning here because I set off some kind of formula that's never ending. Huh. Maybe we got a little flaw here. Okay. Um, the fast calculator. One divide 15. There you go. A 6% chance. One divide. So only 6.6% .6 chance. But let's run our experiment one more time. Here we go, calculator. Okay, look at the page here. Great. So we're gonna roll it again. So I hit this button. There we go, we've got a whole new set. Let's figure out our little frequency of everything. To do red. And we had a one, two, three, four, five, and six are our possibilities. So let's take a look. Twos. We have one, two. Looks like there are. Oops. Let's do a tally. One, two twos. Fours. One, two, three, four. Four fours. Three, three, four. Uh, sixes. One, and six. Threes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Fives, there are two, and ones, there are two. Okay, so a little bit different this time. Um, oh, this is really neat. It's, it's going to look almost like a, a normal distribution, if you've ever heard of this, or a bell curve. Um, so let's go back up here. We had two ones. I'm going to put it in red, and I know it's going to be a little close here. But we had two ones, three twos. Four threes. I hope I've read that memorized. Two, oh no, two, two, four, four. I lied. Serves me right for trying to do it from memory. There we go. Two twos and then two fours. And. Oh yeah, we have two left. We have a two and a one. Okay. So a two and then a one for that six. Okay, so our experimental probabilities for the red. Okay, again, still 15 trials. A um, little different though, because the probability of getting a one this time is a two and 15. Probability of getting a two was, a get, was the same, two and 15. Probability of a three was four and 15. Probability of a four was four and 15 also. Probability of a 5 was, same as before, a 2 in 15. And finally, a probability of a 6 was 1 in 15. Okay? What are those as percentages? We already know the 4s are 26.6 .6 repeated. That's a percent for that. The 1 in 15 is a 6.6% .6 repeated. So what is the 2 in 15? We can just take 2 divided by 15. Oh, I do want a picture of this. I think it will be helpful. So let's capture that as our second frequency chart. And we're going to bring up our calculator. It would cursor selected. 2 divided 15 give us 13.3 repeated. Oops, here it is. Go back to this page. Go down. We have a 13.3 repeated percent chance of getting it. So, we have it. Um, we got a little experiments there too. Experimental probabilities, you can see them both up there. And then our final page. With our experimental probability. Great. 